her oldest child, her son, who was the next of kin? Um, well, they told me, well, I got a call from the hospital, Here actually. I, I never got a call from the police. Well, got but they told me that my mom, she had I got shot in the eye, and it came out her neck. And they didn't tell me who. They were just saying somebody. They never would tell me who. I, they just kept on saying someone shot her. I, they would never tell me who shot my mom, though. So, and I think I was the first person to find it out, too. I had to go tell my grandma, myself. That's all I can say. And you kept asking who? Yeah, they wouldn't tell me at all. <laughs> they would. Thank you, Malachi. We know how hard this is on you and Summer. Uh, Mr. Wilburn, do you want to say anything before we take questions? I want to say again, I'm calling for the sheriff's resignation because I think it's a culture to treat this family this bad, to call these lies. If it were not for that camera footage, we as a people they would have lied and they, they'd have lied their way right out of this. So he needs to resign. So no matter who of his emissaries try to come and talk to me, nobody's, I'm not going to talk to anybody unless my attorney's with me. Because you will never twist anything I said. I'm very clear and I'm very eloquent. He needs to resign. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Wilborn. Obviously, you can hear the passion in his voice. Uh, a family who lost their daughter and their mother, their loved one. So, to be clear, we want this matter to be cleared up, be investigated, uh, so the family can have answers to how certain things unfolded. Um, if somebody, well, you listen to it for yourself. If somebody did try to suggest it was self-inflicted, then we need to know who. And there needs to be accountability. Um, this was important to the family to have these matters investigated. So we uh, look to the authorities to do a thorough investigation on each and every aspect of what led to the killing, the killing, and the aftermath of the killing that we think justice requires such. With that, we will continue to say her name, Sonia Massey. We will continue to say justice for Sonia Massey. We will continue to fight for justice for Sonia Massey. We don't want it to be swept under the rug. We don't want another Laquan McDonald. We were very clear with the governor on that. Charges, we can't be satisfied with just charges in the black community. We've seen it too many times. If we forget about it a year from now, even if the jury came back and found guilty, if we're not vigilant, you'll get the Laquan McDonald treatment where they'll give them a slap on the wrist and give three years for uh, execution. <laughs> This video tells the story.